Carbohydrates are essential energy sources for almost every cell on the face of the Earth, so it's essential to understand, then, the biochemistry slash metabolism of these important compounds. This lecture will focus on probably the most important uh, carbohydrate, and that's glucose. Glucose is broken down in a pathway called glycolysis, which will be the subject of the first part of this talk, and then I'll finish it with the end product of glycolysis, which is pyruvate, and how it's metabolized further, and how that impacts fermentation. Now in glycolysis, we have the breakdown of glucose, and glycolysis literally means the breakdown of glucose. Glyco referring to the glucose part, and lysis referring to the breakdown. Glycolysis is a primary energy source for cells, but it's not within the pathway itself overly energetic. And as we will see, what glycolysis is important for is providing its end products for further oxidation. Glycolysis is what we call a central metabolic pathway. Now, central metabolic pathway means that it feeds into so many other pathways, and pulling this pathway out of a cell would mean the cell would really be able have to rearrange everything that it does. The reactions of glycolysis occur in the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells. In, the glycolysis occurs in what we call two phases. A first phase in which ATP energy must actually be put into molecules to start the process. The ATP will rec be recovered later in the second part of glycolysis where additional ATPs are made, reduced electron carriers are made, and two pyruvates are also made. Pyruvates is, are a connecting point for other pathways. And pyruvates, the oxidation of pyruvates, generates a tremendous amount of energy. Now, glucose uh, is a structure is seen on the right here. In uh, the body, it's stored, at least in animals, it's stored in the form of glycogen. So the breakdown of glycogen releases, uh, essentially, glucose for cells to use. In plants, amylose and amylopectin are used as the storage form. But the end product in each case of breakdown is the same. We get glucose that can be used for energy. The advantage of having glucose as a primary energy source for cell, particularly uh, for cells, particularly for a multicellular organism, is that it is very readily released from storage, and it's also very easily to travel in the blood. Traveling in the blood is important because fat actually stores more energy per carbon than glucose does. But in a liquid or an a aqueous organism, such as we are, that fat has to be packaged up in order to travel, and that takes time. Now, another advantage of glucose is that it can be made from very simple precursors, as we will see in another one of these lectures, in a pathway known as gluconeogenesis.